think about our everyday lives, we're completely surrounded by surfaces. Clothing, smartphones, aerospace, all these things use surfaces. We've actually had collaborations with over 100 um, companies from all around the world, all the way from Norway down to New Zealand. Things like Formula One racing cars, body implants, smart contact lenses. Just to give you an example, nearly half of the world's population now owns a smartphone. Our technology has now been used to treat and protect these smartphones from getting wet. And this year, it's estimated there are over 110 million smartphones will be treated using this waterproof technology. As well as technological applications, we're also very interested in societal applications. We've been leading an international collaboration aimed at providing clean drinking water to people in developing countries. The first step is we're trying to actually collect water from the air, for example from fog. We're then designing ways to channel that water. And then the third step is to actually purify the water. We've been trying to learn from nature by actually looking at how insects and plants survive in those regions. So it's known as a bio-inspired approach. As an example of our research, we've been looking at the cloud forests in British Columbia and we've identified a plant species which allows sunlight to come through, but when it rains, um, the rain doesn't actually come through. So we've basically replicated those structures and um, what it means is that you can actually have 3D printed tiling for roofs and the idea is that we're going to try and um, help design buildings which use some of these designs and then hopefully as a business model maybe some of the profits that we generate we can apply the same technology to build small tiles for huts in um, developing countries. So researchers working in my group get a lot of opportunities to learn, share best practice from leading scientists and leading technology companies around the world. They get the opportunities to travel, network and get a better understanding of what the real global challenges are facing society as we go forwards.